Hey everyone, how's it going? Daryl here. Today I have another git log for you. I'm trying something new. I am trying to take less cameras. Sometimes I take up to four, but I'm trying to shoot everything on my Insta360 and leave the DSLR at home just for something more nimble. So giving that a shot. And so today I'm not DJing. I'm just providing lighting for a in-town DJ. This will be really exciting because I'll be able to demonstrate sound switch, but in standalone mode. So not synced up to any DJ software. This is just going to be similar to the band gig, except with a DJ dance party. So this is going to be super fun. And so this couple want something really special. They want a really modern look, and they also want it to be an immersive experience. Like this other DJ showed some of my light shows, and they said that they liked the presentation, but they don't just want like the lighting up in front of one side of the dance floor. So they want it on several sections. So we're going to be providing lighting from all four angles. So that is really exciting. I'm excited to share with you what I got. And so this light show is going to be a derivative of my last band lighting light show. Just a little bit more modified for a DJ dance party opposed to lighting a band. And I'm using some new up lights from both. And so all of the guys in my company, I'll use both up lighting. And with these new minis, they just seem so much easier to work with. So compact. So I'm bringing 40 of them tonight. I'm leaving my normal uplighting home, so this will be really exciting. I'm excited to see what happens. So let's get loaded up. All right, I'm here at the venue with my good friend Brian right over here, and we're all ready to set up. This is gonna be a good time. You ready? Absolutely, it's gonna be awesome. Let's do it. There we go. We have the venue church and state right here. And so it's a little bit tricky because they don't have a parking lot. So you're at the mercy of like what parking is available. Luckily it's a Saturday, nobody is working. So I was able to find a double spot for my car and trailer. But if you're considering a vehicle and you have like an unlimited budget, definitely go for a van. Car and a trailer is always a headache, especially for some of these high end venues and hotels where they just don't really have accommodations for trailers so vans are definitely the way to go so yeah let me take you into the venue and show you what we have set up we're all set up and yeah the DJ is playing and the instrumentalist is playing along so yeah this is super awesome all right I'm here at church and state and one of the defining features is this beautiful stained glass window and we are all set up and this is Pretty exciting, I'm excited for this gig. So walk you through the setup. I have four hybrid movers here. A lot of people have been asking me how I mount my well sticks, and this is how I have these really cool clamps. And these clamps are just easy peasy, you can control like which way you spin this. These are rated for seven and a half pounds, so these really make a great candidate for this. So you can see I have my control one. I'm using both universes. One for my well sticks being controlled by this WDMX transmitter and one universe by the for normal DMX. I just have a static scene going during like dinner and cocktail hour as guests are arriving. And we have a lot of awesome auto loops for later in the night. So like I mentioned, they were wanted like 360 degrees of lighting. They didn't want just the presentation. But we did give them a pretty cool presentation. But we also have some other lighting. So we have like four well sticks on the corners of the dance floor. A light on this light stand right here, shining up the dance floor. And we have a couple using magnets. These are my new both up lighting. They are so small and slim and I love them. And of course 
So we have 40 up lights. And that will definitely give the feel of lighting all around. But that'll be later on. So upstairs is a lounge area and we have some lights up there as well. So another view of our DJ and cellist. The haze is slowly coming in and it's, we can see the beams with the haze. That's pretty awesome, this venue allows for haze. I just basically asked them and they said that they allowed it. The couple originally wanted lights here shining on the dance floor. And it's a good vantage point, but it's a slim walkway. With people being inebriated, I figured that they would trip over the lights. And so both lighting has these awesome magnet mounts. And I trust them, but I trust having this cable for extra safety even more. And these both up lighting are super awesome because they're even less profile and it's less likely to be a tripping hazard. And we have a couple of movers right here. So they're off right now because the venue is working on some of their power issues, so hopefully they can get that back on. Yeah, I debated having these on totems, but with the railing as it is, I figured it would be okay. So we have lighting coming from all four directions, with most of it being in the front, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So Amber asked me to help her with the lighting, so we're going to have a party tonight. Yeah, I'm so excited. Girls in the mess. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to hear her mix. She is a legend, so this is going to be a good party tonight. Yes. So I'm here with Kat, and she'll be doing some of the music for like the dinner and cocktail hour. Yeah. Let's go over the software configuration. So I have sound switch pulled up right here, as well as my 3D visualizer, and I have a tutorial on how you can set this up with sound switch. I have a link in the description below. So this is the same light show as I used on my last gig log when I lit up the band, except it's saved in a different project and the main difference is I have a couple of extra fixtures in the back. And so having the 3D visualizer was nice because I could set the positions, at least the general idea of the positions, and then I could fine tune it at the venue. We put it in performance mode. So this light show was just meant to be simple. I wanted it in standalone mode. And to do so, you just click the link button and it will just automatically cycle through one of these 26 auto loops, which are basically just chases. And I could have connected to the DJ software or synced to the music a little bit better, but I decided not to. I was satisfied with what it looked like. And so I had some static looks, like I had a few different static looks I used throughout the evening. Like I had one for dinner and this looks a little messed up on the visualizer here, but I had it optimized for the venue. I had one for the cake cutting where all the spotlights were like shining on the cake. And my last gig, I had all of these strobes, but I didn't really want to use many strobes. They were an older demographic and strobes just aren't the best with the older folks. We were playing a lot of disco and just lots of vibrant color just works really well with disco. All right, now it's time for some gig footage.
Well, I hope you enjoyed those clips from the dance floor. And I'm super grateful that Amber brought us along to provide lighting for this wedding. And in general, I love working with other DJs because you get to see another professional at work. You get to see their like mic work. You get to see their mixing style. And I feel like Amber crushed it. She definitely captured the couple's vision. And I was pretty happy with the light show. I think it looked really beautiful. And I had so many compliments throughout the night from the staff, the guests, the couple and it was awesome and so the both up lighting they definitely lived up to the hype they reimagined some of the features with this ir4 opposed to the rf4 and yeah they were just really easy to work with easy to deploy and their battery charge lasts the entire night and so some of you asked how do you price a gig like this and so it was pretty simple i met with a couple at the venue and i told them my vision i gave them a couple of options like what I would do at the very minimum to capture their vision versus what I would do if they had a bigger budget. So I just priced all the lighting a la carte, like this many dollars per uplight, this many dollars per well stick, per mover, et cetera, et cetera, as well as a tech fee, which included like setup, takedown. So overall, I feel like SoundSwitch is a great tool. I could have done more to connect like SoundSwitch to the music that was being played, whether connecting to our computer or having a microphone listen to the BPM and running something with Ableton Link, but I just decided not to because I was pretty happy with the results. And I didn't even really hit the BPM sync button that much this gig, so yeah, I feel like it looked pretty good. It definitely captured like that vibrant disco vibe. Well, thank you so much for watching this gig log. I really appreciate it. So please smash like and subscribe, it really helps this channel. And we are trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video.